Hey everyone, Team Idiot here for some more. Trails in the sky, we're jumping. Oh, the sled. Where'd you come from? There's a chandelier. Kill it. I will. I hate this thing. I know, right? It's just setting the forest on fire. Look, do you see a forest around you? No, that's because it was set on fire. Smoking yeah. Bear is actually really pissed off right now. He just got to possess the Team UDL. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, speak on his behalf. Uh, don't burn for us, people. Stop burning things, oh, and uh, you'll feel better. Only Didn't Brother the Wild teach you anything? This the forest road, aka on the way to Genus Royal Academy. And thank you for missing like way often. Uh, thank, thanks for missing that, Estelle. You, you're a real, you're a real sorcerer. Dang it, Dorothy's getting my sapper. Punk. Dorothy didn't even know what sapper is. <laughs> she doesn't know what sapper is. She's a dunce. Oh, okay. Kind of. Now it's just been trying to show the love of and, he, and uh, he, he gets so much of a headache, he's like, I'm gonna dump Dorothy on you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, deal with the election. Bye! <laughs> he sure did. You're a son of the bus. <laughs> She's your pop now! Whoop! Got a TLDR for his ornament setup. Okay, in the form of flowers. Ah! Holy crap, she did it. She hit all three. Yeah, that's, uh, that's actually a very good. They took my Sephiroth. I want my Sephiroth back. Yup. I want my family back. I want my, I want my Sephiroth back. Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Are you, are you... She's blind to the one that was already blind. <laughs> this Man, freaking well. character. Hey, this is Nile. I hope you guys are having fun with Thor. <laughs> We're good to go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Estelle, balanced healer. Olivier, Earth Time, Chloe, Healing Water, Wind. Olivier's Josh. Well, that's quite a good pass, and uh, happy boy. Say, doesn't Olivia already want to be the Josh replacement? <laughs> oh, I think he wants to be more than just that. I'm trying to take his face. I would like to take his face. Oh. <laughs> face off. Face off. I agree. No, literally, take his face off now. Maybe. Slowly sneaking him up there so that I'll hopefully get a convenient level up in the area or whatever. Ah, oh, I can tell which one we can Darn plants. No, but uh, the freaking weeds. Oh my god, why is it so fast? Plant. Heck if I know. <laughs> 744 damage. Now who would know something about that? Oh wow, you know what? I'm already thinking about a certain guy who uh, wants us to take a look at his bank account. Hmm. Someone associated with bank camp, probably.
white gate that's more expensive now, and I didn't get access to the Coach Capital. Take that! Oh dear. White gain. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Ooh, an earthworm. We got earthworm Jim, Jubsy. Oh, <laughs> Yes, Gino Royal Academy. Come back here. Yep. Ah, those were the days. Estelle and Chloe just the dude fighting for the affection of a cross-dressing Joshua. Hmm, <laughs> so this is the Royal Academy. Full of budding flowers, trembling with potential, dude with the passionate moisture of sweat and youthful tears. Ah. A lovely place. Oh wow, I see like 10 pictures I want to take already. I'm gonna go through so much film. You've completely forgotten why we're here, haven't you? Besides, we're here to investigate the ghost issue. Kinda makes me all nostalgic though. We were only here a week, but... Hmm, that just means you cherish the time you spent with your friends. I believe you acted together in a play during their school festival, right? Oh, I heard about that from Niall. Estelle was a knight and Joshua was a princess, right? Oh, I wish I could have gotten some pictures. Wait, wait, it's all true? Oh, what a tragedy! That I should miss Joshua and his most graceful of <laughs> luring! We simply must find him and have him wear such splendor again! All of my memories are forever ruined. Changing gears, though, Matron Teresa said the test period would be over soon. Wonder if we're here a little early, though. Oh. Saeed! Uh oh, it's the bird! Hit the freaking bird! Drop a little squee squee! Squee! Well, yeah, I have no idea what you're saying, but you're welcoming me, right? How have you been, Saeed? Squee! Alright. Estelle! Yep, yeah, it's Chloe. Oh! Oh, um, these others two losers, too. Chloe! Been a while, huh? It has. Um, I. I. <laughs> What's wrong, Chloe? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You suffered so much and I, I can't do anything. I can't do anything to help my friends. I'm such a wretch. Hey, hey, don't say that. I'm glad you care so much. I'm sure Joshua will feel the same way. I'm just happy to see you again. I, me too. Thank Adios we were able to meet again. Good grief. You two are dramatic even off stage. Hey, Estelle, think we saw each other last at the birthday celebrations, right? All right, she's got this stupid winky face. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Yeah, that seems about right. And Hans, too. Hello. Hi, Estelle, everyone. I'd love to chat, but I think we need to put that aside for a minute. You guys are here on price of business, right? That Dean wants to see you. We'll show you the way. Show me the car facts. Yes, I see. So you suspect this white shadow is originating from the Academy grounds? Yes, sir. It seems like it is. The guild would like permission to investigate the Academy grounds, sir. Maybe you have permission to check the campus thoroughly and interview the students? Certainly. Given the circumstances, I would ask you to investigate in truth. While I have little idea what this white shadow could be, if it is affecting the election, we cannot simply sit idle and let it be. Thanks, sir. So, um, you mentioned not knowing what the White Shadow might be. Alas, no. No one's reported anything of the sort to me. Jill, has anyone come to the student council about such a thing? Hmm, nope. Not a peep. It was exam crunch time, though. Nobody really had the time to come and say so much as hi to us anyway. I see. That would make much more sense. Huh? Uh, I'm lost. Here at the Royal Academy, there are periodic exams which determine if you proceed to the next grade. Even if the students saw something, they might just choose to ignore it and focus on studying. I have to admit, I'd probably be one of them. I know I'd rather get one more formula in my head than focus on something that just might be my sleep-deprived mind playing tricks on me. Whoa, are the exams really that intense? Wow, they sure work you to the bones here, whatever it's been. 
As of today, the exams are done, sweet Rosie of Adios, and people are going to be a lot more relaxed. People were going to start talking about the ghost stories. Today's the day for it. There's, there is a converse to this. If rumors spread too far, it would be hard to divine the truth. If we wish to hear the stories from the witnesses themselves, we must act today. Well, you may begin your investigation immediately. Jill, Hans, Chloe, I expect you to give them your full support. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. So, first off, if we're investigating something, we need a headquarters. For oh, God's sake. Someone might come from the student council with information so you can use our meeting room. That'll be perfect. Let's go. To the student council. Okay, let's divide up the jobs. Sherazard and I will go question the teachers. They should be in the staff room right now. After that, we'll hunt down the rest of the staff and interrogate them too. Leave it to us. It shouldn't take long. Hans will check the records in the reference room and see if anything like this has happened around here before. Understood. And Stella and Chloe will be in charge of interviewing the students. Okay. We'll do our best. Dorothy, Olivia, you two are investigate the grounds as you submit. I'll trust your, um, your artist's intuition to find something. <laughs> she knows they're full of crap. <laughs> and watch they find something, too. Uh, leave it to me. Yeah, jeez, if anything, these two will be the ones to solve the whole freaking mystery. <laughs> I'll do my best, music note. Okay, so everyone try and finish up your investigations by nightfall and return here. All right, fall out! Four was a bad game. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate yourself so much? Yep. <laughs> She's really good at this, huh? I noticed that during the school festival, too. She can be pretty silly at times, but I guess she leads the student council for a reason. <laughs> well, she does want to become a politician, kind of like Mayor Maybell of Bose. She was really frustrated when the election began. She kept going on about how she could have been a candidate if she were 10 years older. Oh, uh, well, I guess she could, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was wondering. How much do Jill and Hans know about you, Chloe? I know you mentioned once they nicknamed you. <laughs> yes, they did. They essentially know everything. They saw through my disguise about halfway into my first year here. Aside from them, only the Dean knows my true identity. That makes sense, I guess. They do seem pretty comfortable hanging out with you, even though they know about your important royal stuff. Yes, just like you, Estelle. You're the best friends I have. Ah, oh, come on, you're embarrassing me here. Anyhow, let's go find some students to interrogate. Did you see anything weird during the test period? That should be good enough without raising suspicion, right? Yes, that should keep rumors from spreading, I think. Remember, though, some of the students may be back in their dormitories already. Good point. We'll look there, too. Off we go. A questioning, then. Awana sucks. Everything yep. sucks. Uh. All right, what we got here? Yep, she's got just everything. Eh, 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 eh. Right. Was this here before? No, it wasn't. There's no way this was here before. Heal quartz. That must be a new one. Well, she's well, got we blue impact already. Blue eyes, blue impact. Ugh. Blue eyes, jump impact. Do it. Do it. She looks as Chloe as ever. I got nothing. All right. Yes, you got a bird. Birdramon. Yeah, you do. I'll go to question it. We're almost done. Have you had any luck with the records? Ah, uh, yeah, but there aren't many records that can be relevant. So this Heal is last game. Huh? Huh? I must have never. I guess I just don't. I don't know. Whatever. Hey, I know you're busy, but could I take a moment of your time? Sure. Let me guess. It's about Joshua. Yeah. I haven't heard the details, but he's gone missing, right? He has, uh, yeah, don't worry. It's something he did on his own, so it's basically like him running away from home. Hmm, I wonder. I know I only speak, spent a week with or so with him, but... Oh, well, we really got along. 
got to know each other. We talked about a whole lot of other things. He could just not he just could not shut up about his life after he came to live with you, Estelle. Uh, really? That's so embarrassing. I was such a tomboy. I mean, I guess that's true, but uh, we'll find out in just a bit, because I must go do something really quickly. I mean, I guess that's true, but... <laughs> well, a lot of heartwarming stories, I'll say. Thing is, I never heard a word about anything before then. Oh. One time, I just casually asked about what his life was like before he came to live with you. I'll never forget his expression when I asked that. I'll never be able to. His eyes just sort of clouded over. It was like he was staring over a self's long field of who knows what that only he could see. Staring down eternity. Afterwards, though, he just laughed it off and pretended it never happened while avoiding the question and staring down eternity. I don't know his history of staring down eternity, but his leaving has something to do with uh, his early life staring down eternity, doesn't it? Yeah, we're pretty sure it does. I knew it. Whenever we went to bed, we'd always talk about how the day went, right? How practice was going, for example, how delicious lunch was, that sort of thing. Whenever we did that, he, this, he got this look, like he was looking at something Right and beautiful. Right. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the expression of someone looking at something that they want but can't have. At the same time, he just sort of seemed to accept that there was something he could never have. He never really lost that look the entire time he was here. Joshua, it is something you can have, you giant idiot. Estelle. So, yeah. I know I shouldn't really get involved get involved since I don't know you two that well, but I have just one favor of you. Just one. Huh? If you meet him again, don't ever let him have that kind of expression. He is an idiot thinking he can't have that kind of life. He's got just as much of a right to love, laugh, and enjoy life as any of us do. He's got the right to love, live. <sighs> Can you do that for me? Hans. Yeah, of course I can. All the way coming to the fact that I even affect to slap his cheeks beat right in the process. Ha, <laughs> still, it may take that to get him to really understand, but we'll do it. Ah, oh, God. Sorry in advance, Jay. Mmm, oh, good to get that on my chest. Sorry I shouldn't take up too much of your time. Good luck with your investigation. Yeah, thanks, Hans. Good luck to you too, Hans. Hans Solo. Hmm. I figured he had something to say something about Josh. Han Solo. Kill him. Han Solo. Alright, I know the next one's gonna take longer than two minutes, so we're gonna stop here for- Oh my god, did that say 38? Uh... It did say 38. <laughs> She's level 38 versus our 45. We got some work to do. Then make a fight a shiny palm, you good. We got some work to do. Next time on Trails in the Sky, second chapter with Jubsy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Boy! Whoop!